Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, children. Good evening. Hi, all. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, my presentation is visible. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So in this question, uh, we are given the sum to n terms of a particular AP. Sn is given by 3n square by 2 plus 13n by 2. And with this, with this info, you have to find the 25th term of the AP. Yeah, work this. Find S1. Find S1. <clears throat> find S1. Take N as 1 and find S1. And S1 is nothing but the first term of the AP. The sum to one term which is nothing but the first term. Then find S2. S2 is what? The sum to the first two terms of the AP. That is A1 plus A2. S2 is A1 plus A2. You've already found uh, the first term. So substitute that and get the second term. Find the common difference. And then the 25th term. You can take help of the slide. <clears throat> Work this one, all of you. Take down the question. Please work this. Any doubts, you can ask me. Done, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> so take N as 1 and find S1. S1 is nothing but the first term of the AP. S1 is 8, which means A is 8. Then take N as 2. And find S2. S2 means A1 plus A2. Sum to the first two terms of the AP, which is nothing but A1 plus A2. So S2 is 19, which means A1 plus A2 is 19. But we already know A1 is 8. So 8 plus A2 is 19. So A2 is equal to 11. Now find the common difference. A2 minus A1, which is 3. Now the 25th term is A plus 24D. To find the 25th term, you need the first term and the common difference. A25 is A25 is A plus 24D. And to find the 25th term, you need the value of A and the value of D. So here we have the value of uh, A and then the value of D here. So substitute in the formula and find A25, which is 80. 
a n this is a general formula a n is a plus n minus 1 into t if you want to find a 25 that is n is 25 so it will be a plus 25 minus 1 into d this is a this is d and n is 25 because you want to find a 25 all right children <clears throat> okay next one a contract on construction job specifies a penalty for delay of completion beyond a certain date as follows. So, a construction, uh, a contract on construction job is vested to, uh, say, some civil engineer. Okay, and he is supposed to complete that construction job within a stipulated time the delay of which he will be liable to pay penalty to his to the person who has given him the contract if the engineer delays the construction job that is he does not complete the construction activity the construction job on time if it's delayed then he is liable to pay penalty to the person who's given him the contract. OK, so the penalty details are like this. Uh, if the construction job is delayed. Uh, for the first day, he has to pay rupees 135 rupees for the second day, 160 rupees for the third day, 185 rupees and so on. So let's assume that. <clears throat> He has to finish uh, the job by 31st August. OK, he has to finish the job by 31st August, uh, 31st August 2023. But the work is not done. It's not completed. Then for 1st September 2023, the penalty to be paid by the contractor, the civil engineer is um, rupees 135. For 2nd September, for 2nd September, he has to pay because for the second day, for the second day, note that word for there. For the first day, 135 rupees. For the second day, 160 rupees. That is only for 2nd September. For the third day, that is for 3rd September. Supposing the work is still not completed, okay? So then for 3rd September, he has to pay 185 rupees and so on. That is uh, the penalty for the succeeding day keeps increasing by how much 25 rupees it keeps increasing by 25 rupees 135 plus 25 160 160 plus 25 185 so for 4th september supposing the work is still not done 4th september the penalty will be 185 plus 25 which is 210 so now supposing <clears throat> the job is completed on 4th September 2023, the job is completed on 4th September. That is uh, by the uh, by the end of the day. OK, the end of the day, the uh, job is completed. Then the total penalty which the uh, contractor has to pay to his employer or to that person who has given him the contract will be A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. See, this is A1 because this is penalty for the first day. This is the penalty for the second day. This is the penalty for the third day. It's not, it's, this is not, 185 rupees is not the penalty for three days. It's not for all the three days. It is only for the third day. 210 rupees is not the penalty for all the four days. It's a penalty only for that fourth day for the fourth day. So if the work is completed by uh, the evening of 4th September 2023, then the penalty to be paid by the contractor will be uh, A1, that is 135 plus 160 plus 185 plus 210. That is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4, what? which means the penalty to be paid is S4. The penalty to be paid is S4, S4. Every term of the AP here represents the penalty for a particular day. 
don't uh, don't think children i'm taking too much uh, time to explain the question that's very important because you need to understand if your answer is a4 or s4 so here is the terms of the ap 135 160 185 210 these are the these represent the first four terms of the ap with the first term as 135 and the common difference is 25 now it's important to understand what the term of the ap represents what is the meaning because it's a word problem it's not a numerical situation it's not you're not given numbers like 135 comma 160 comma 185 comma 210 okay find s25 it's not a numerical situation okay there is some theory here so you need to understand what every term of the ap represents what is this one 135? What does 135 represent? What does 160 represent? So 135 represents the penalty for the first day. 160 represents the penalty only for the second day. So the penalty for two days will be 135 plus 160. Suppose the job is delayed by two days. If the job is delayed by two days, then the penalty to be paid by the contractor will be 135 plus 160, which is S2, not A2 s2 so if the pen if the uh, uh, construction job is delayed by four days then he has to pay 135 plus 16 160 plus 185 plus 210 which is a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 which is s4 all right now let's read ahead if the contractor pays, if the contractor pays rupees 12,420 as penalty, find the number of days by which the work was delayed. So the penalty is 12,420. And we understand that the penalty paid is not a particular term of the AP, but the sum to the first n terms of an AP, of the AP. <clears throat> the penalty of 12,420 will not represent a term of this AP. It is not a n 12,000 because because the penalty paid is the sum of uh, the terms. This is the total penalty 12,420 is the total penalty paid and the total penalty will be a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4 till a n. The total penalty paid is a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 plus a 4. We don't know how many days so till a n that means sn sn is 12420 sn is 12420 and not a n the penalty the total penalty paid is not a particular term of the ap it represents the sum of uh, the first n terms of the ap if the work is delayed by 25 days then s25 if the work is delayed by 25 days, then A1, that is the penalty for the first day, plus the penalty for the second day, plus the penalty for the third day, so on till plus the penalty for the 24th day, plus the penalty for the 25th day. So A1 plus A2 plus A3 till A25 is 12,420, which means S25. So here in general, Sn is equal to 12,420. If you can write this one, it's very easy. You are just going to substitute the values and you will get a quadratic equation in N because you don't know N, right? So you will get a quadratic equation in N. Uh, solve. You can use a quadratic formula if you cannot split the middle term. Use a quadratic formula. Find the two values of N and uh, you will be going ahead with the value of uh, N which can be accepted. The other one will be rejected for some reason. That is about the first part. The second one is if the work is delayed by 35 days, then find the penalty to be paid by the contractor. If the work is delayed by 35 days. Now tell me children for the second one, should we find A35 or S35? For the second one, is it A35 or S35? The work is delayed by 35 days. Find the penalty to be paid by the contractor. S35. Why no? S35. Okay. Okay. Navya and Prajit say uh, S35. Okay. Prajit, what do you think A35 will represent? Yes, Sashank. 
S35. S35. Okay, what do you think uh, uh, A35 represents? Now the penalty which has to be paid for only the 35th day. Exactly. So A35 will give us the penalty to be paid only for that day, the 35th day. But the penalty which the contractor is liable to pay is for all the 35 days, which is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 till A35. All right, children. I hope all of you understood the situation. Now, with the help of the answer here, you will not be copying, I know. Take help from the slide and work this by yourself. At different stages, just look at the slide and check if you're uh, working it right. I just want to stress on this one. So see here, you should write this SNS for the first one. For the first one for A, you know, you should write what is that number 12,420? It is SN. So write that SN is 12,420. So now work on SN. What is SN? N by 2 of 2A plus N minus 1 into D is 12,420. Now substitute the values of A and D. You don't know N. N is N. You know A and D substitute. And then when you work, you get a quadratic uh, equation in N. And then you divide by a common factor throughout. And then this one, it's too large to split the middle term. So quadratic formula, quadratic formula. You must know the long division to find the square root of 1,1761. Otherwise, you cannot proceed. You should know the long division method to find the square root of this number. Yeah, so like that we find n. n is 27 or minus 36.8. So you know number of days cannot be negative. Number of days cannot be negative. So we reject this and we go ahead with 27. So the work is delayed by 27 days. In the second case, you'll have to find S35. You should find S35. Find S35. You know A, you know D, and you know N is 35. You know the value of A. You know the value of D. Because you know the AP. So you know A and D. You know the AP. You know the terms of the AP. So you know A and D. And you also know N, which is 35. Because remember, in AP, we just need three values, A, N, and D. A is the first term. I, I said remember this word and. A first term, D common difference, and N is the number of terms. A, N, and D. So to find S35, you know A, you know D, you know N is 35. So substitute and find S35, which is the penalty to be paid for 35 days. Yeah, go ahead, children.
done children Completed children. <coughs> Please acknowledge. Yes, ma'am. Okay, no hurry, but is it over? Or are you still working? Done in full? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Completed. Okay. I want some more responses. I'm being now. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Any questions, children, at this point? No, it's clear. Calculation? No, ma'am. No. Okay. All right. <clears throat> We have done this earlier. This one we have done earlier, children. So not doing that now. This also we.